What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another Jay and Keith review. Uh, this time, what are we running down this time? All right, so it's a fairly new company uh, called Sonic Cake. Uh, this is their uh, delay pedal. It's called the Echo Rain. It's a true bypass. It's got two modes on it, which is pure. It's like an analog sound. It is a digital delay, but it does sound very analog, uh, especially in the pure uh, setting. And it also, a little switch up on the top over here. If you switch it down, it's the modulation setting. Uh, basically, has like modulation on the trails. Um, I found out about this brand through the uh, YouTube channel in the blues. Uh, Shane played it, and I was blown away. Uh, they're very sturdily built. Uh, it's one input in, one input out. It's not a stereo pedal. Uh, I got this one for 35 bucks on Amazon. Uh, I think they're running about $43 right now on Amazon. So they're fairly new. They just released a uh, digital delay. Oh, nice. Um, so they're a new company, uh, but great. And th their stuff sounds amazing. So this is going to be our review of the Echo Rain. So yeah, we'll get uh, close-up videos here and uh, show you guys uh, some All of the features. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back and uh, taking a look at the Sonic Cake here and uh, Keith's gonna kind of go through the features of uh, what this pedal does and here we go all right with the uh, little top knot uh, switch up here is for the pure or, or the modulation uh, sounds of the repeats uh, the pure is more of the analog modulation obviously has like a coercy uh, on the trails you got a blend between your dry signal and the wet signal repeats obviously how long the repeats go and the time how fast the uh, delay is. So we're going to start everything at 12 o'clock and here we go. Pretty standard delay yeah, stuff right there. Very, yeah. So this is a digital delay, but it does have that analog feel to it. Yeah. And those delays can go forever. The higher you turn the repeats up. Dun, 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 I like dun, the dun. decay on it. That's probably my favorite thing. Yeah, it's got Is that it? very analog tape, yeah. tape echo. It almost goes to a feedback. So, bring that back down to 12. And bring it Right here, get a little more of a slap back. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Don't you be blaming me. <laughs> it's probably one of those pedals that you can't really mess with it once you, I think it's like a set it and leave it. Well, yeah, you're not supposed to be messing with them on the fly, generally, anyways. So that's more of a slap back. Yeah, I like that. that that's that's yeah. more my style anyway. I'm more of the uh, delay kind of guy that creates uh, spacious ambient sounds, uh, longer delay settings. better in the loop yeah yeah like yeah. any like any time modulation effect yeah it definitely needs to be in the loop all right we're gonna bring everything back to 12 o'clock and we're gonna swap it over here down to the modulation now all right it's almost got like a swell to it yeah the trails have like a vibrato yeah my, that's just the way I'm, I'm hearing it here so we're uh, going to lengthen those uh, repeats out. Wow. That yeah. just gets... That guy, now I don't know what purpose you can actually have for that. that that's something like, uh, you know, you two from Edge. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... Yeah, when I think of delays, I think of the edge. Honestly, that's uh, 
That dude is, is the master of setting multi multiple delays. Um, yeah. Analog, digital, yeah, back in the 80s. So yeah, we're gonna, let's run the more of the dry signal and And it keeps going and going. It's like the Energizer Bunny. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think it can have a purpose, you know, if you want it to do that. You know, I normally run a, a couple of different delays on my board. Um, I mean, I technically have to. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I normally just try to... But, yeah, that's... So it's very sim simple, you know, it's not an expensive pedal. Um, I think it's a really good delay for like somebody who's being introduced to delay pedals, yeah. want to experiment. Uh, I mean, obviously it's on the lower end of the spectrum as far as price goes. Uh, and, I mean, it's and built. And I think you can kind of tell you getting what you pay for there. Yeah. I hate to say that, but it, I mean, it, it's got obviously some static in, the, in, in one of the knobs. And this thing ain't old. It ain't like Keith's had this for, no, I got it for a right, year. Right around anything. Christmas time. Yeah, so I mean it, it's 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 less than a month old, and you can you can tell he's getting some static in this knob right here. But I mean it is what it is. I mean it, for thirty five bucks, I mean that's not bad. I mean and and for especially for the size of it, that's uh, that's really nice. Yeah, it's got a nice metal chassis to it. Uh, yeah, it's built. I mean it, it is. It's it looks like it's built tough. Uh, I, I, maybe some of the internal components, you know, and it might just need to be cleaned a little bit. Yeah. Um, but I, I doubt that because it's not like your house is nasty where it's been sitting. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, I don't know what I, I, I don't know that it's hard to say with, with these little boats. Yeah, I mean, uh, like, like I was saying, Keith, I just don't, I mean, for what it is, it's, it's not a bad pedal. Um, it's not the greatest, but for for thirty five bucks, it's kind of hard to to complain, you know. I mean, it really is. I mean, because I got a, a the one that I use on my board is a Moore, uh, the Ocean Machine, Devin Townsend Ocean Machine, and that's a three hundred dollar pedal, and it's built like a tank, and but it's a three hundred dollar pedal. Not everybody's gonna want to spend three hundred dollars, and you've got right. more expensive delays also. Yeah, I mean, um, I mean. For a thirty-five button, like you said, uh, an entry level delay. I mean, is it? It's worth it to me uh, for for that. Um, would I put this on my board? No, because I've got something that, yeah, your that does so much. Right. Yeah. Your delay runs. You can run two different delays on your just your one pedal. You know right. where I normally you need multiple yeah, delays. Yeah. I like to said I like to run multi, different kind of delays and everything else. Uh, I no longer have a multi delay pedal, so right. Um, you know, I'd say. I took a, a gamble, got this. I like it, and I said I think it's one of them things you set it and leave it, and uh, and it serves a purpose. Yeah. Uh, but I said definitely, you know, for people that are getting into effects, um, get something like this because you don't want to go out and spend three hundred dollars on a pedal, right? Where you know you might not even want to play guitar anymore yeah, after I mean, six it, months. That's the difference. You know, somebody like me, I'm out playing live. Uh, you know, I'm playing in a band. I need something that's going to be tried and true, that, that it's going to hold up, that when I go there, I need it to work. You know, uh, you don't want it cutting out in a live setting or anything like that. Uh, this, for somebody who's sitting around the house just learning to play and, and wanting to experiment a little bit and they don't want a stinking Line 6 amp or something, a modulator amp, uh, this is a very good starting point. And, I, I mean, it, hey, look, it's not the worst pedal I've ever played. I guarantee you that. It's, it's, uh, it's not the greatest, but... I mean, if I was to put this on a one to ten scale, it's probably right in the middle, man. You know, it's it's probably right at a five. I mean, it is. It is for thirty five bucks. That's the real kicker, right there. Thirty five bucks. If this thing was was a hundred dollars, I'd throw it in the garbage right now. Right. But yeah. at thirty five dollars, I'm not gonna complain about that. Yeah. That's a good pedal for thirty five bucks. Yeah. And yeah, said so don't take up a lot of room on your board. I said, you know, that's why I wonder reason I liked it. You know, a little small like minute. Uh, uh, micro pedal. Yeah. Set yeah, your, I like the get, mini pedals. Get, get your get your setting, place it in there. Don't take up a lot of real estate on the board. 
you know, and just use it sparingly where, you know, you're going to want to use that extra little kick to it. <laughs> Damn you, telephone. Uh. But, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, where can you get one of these? Uh, Amazon. That's where I got mine. Uh, I said they're, they're constantly introducing new stuff. Uh, really cool guys. Uh, I've talked to them on Instagram and, you know, just down to our dudes. Uh, you know, they're just wanting to get out in the world and in the pedal business. I said they got multiple different things. They got overdrives. Uh, just came out the digital reverb. They've got a couple of those, like, uh, I would compare it, like, to the Tech 21 fly rigs, uh, where it's, like, everything in one uh, yeah. box or whatever. Um, well, that's good. I and mean... and that, that's, that multi one is, like, 70 bucks. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. So, you know, check them out. They're, yeah, it's inexpensive. Inexpensive stuff. I was going to see where it was made, but it doesn't say on here. Uh, if I had to... Yeah, I, I ripped the sticker off the back of it when um, I was putting the uh, pedal tape on it. If I had to guess, it's not made in America. That'd be my guess. But, anyways, hey, let us know down below if you own one of these or, you know, what you think about this pedal. Um, and we appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to like, subscribe all that good stuff, and uh, we will catch you guys on the next one. See ya.